Robert Winthrop was a statesman, an eminent historian, and a strong Christian. I have here Robert Winthrop's copy, a signed copy, of his published speeches. Notice this excerpt from a speech he delivered on the Bible and American government. All societies of man must be governed in some way or other. The less they may have of stringent state government, the more they must have of individual self-government. The less they rely on public law or physical force, the more they must rely on private moral restraint. Man, in a word, must necessarily be controlled, either by a power within them or by a power without them, either by the word of God or by the strong arm of man, either by the Bible or by the bayonet. It may do for other countries and other governments to talk about the state supporting religion. Here, under our own free institutions, it is religion which must support the state. This work is called Letters of John Quincy Adams to His Son on the Bible and His Teachings. It contains Adams' writings to his 10-year-old son, George Washington Adams, a son he named after his own close personal friend, George Washington. At the time John Quincy Adams wrote these letters, he was serving as a diplomat in St. Petersburg, Russia. He wrote these letters to his son, not only recommending the diligent study of the Bible, but also showing him how to get the most out of his Bible study. Thirty-seven years after John Quincy Adams had written these letters to his son, and in the year following his own death, those letters were published in this book so that Adams' wise counsel about the Bible might be available to all of America's sons and daughters. Here are some of the advice offered by John Quincy Adams. The first and almost the only book deserving of universal attention is the Bible. I have myself for many years made it a practice to read the Bible once every year. I have always endeavored to read it with the same spirit and with the same temper of mind, which I now recommend to you. That is, with the intention and desire that it may contribute to my advance in wisdom and virtue. In other words, John Quincy Adams didn't read the Bible just for inspiration or devotion. He read it with the intent of gaining wisdom and virtue, with the intent of finding specific things from the Scriptures that could be applied to daily life. His recommendation was wise. Always look for applications when reading the Bible. Always look for practical things that can be applied in everyday life. 